The West Coast DHB policy is to complete drug counts every week and the law in New Zealand states that there must be six monthly checks done on the 31st of December and the 30th of June every year. When completing a drug count it takes two independent double checkers and also you must ensure that the room is quiet as possible to minimise interruptions. Um, we're going to do a six monthly drug count for our fentanyl. Um, this was done uh, as per law at the end of December, so it has already been filled in, but we'll just show you the steps that we undertook to do this check. So um, this is only a really used medication, so there aren't too many entries. What we need to look at initially is when the last six monthly stop take was done. So if we go up our register, we can see here, it was last done on the 30th of the 6th, 2000, 2017. At the end of the stop take, there were 40 injections of L-fentanyl on hand. This is our starting balance in this register. What we need to do for our six monthly stock take is a quantity stock account, which looks at all the entries into our register and all the entries out of our register over that six month period. So we start with the 40 we have on hand and that is an entry in. We have those physically in our register. Then we need to look at the in column and go through the six month period and identify every entry. Because this is the pharmacy book, we've received these from our wholesaler. So we've got an entry here, here, and here of stock that we've received into our register. Then add up each of those entries to find our in quantity. So we've got 40, 30, 50, 50 to give us 170. Right. Then do the same sort of thing for our out column. We're trying to identify all of the entries that have had medicines taken out of our register. So we then look at the out column and from the last six monthly stock take we add up each of the entries out to different areas. These in this case are wards. You can see here that this was an entry that was done in error. The entry has been bracketed and it hasn't been taken out of our book. So we add up each of these to give us a tally of 110. Then need to ensure that this balances our register. It's kind of like accounting, but for drugs. And we take our 170 injections that we've received in, we subtract the 110 that we've given out to the wards, and that gives us a total of 60 injections. This is what we should have left on hand in our, in our stock. We then need to do a stock on hand count, which is just a fancy name for a physical stock, stock count. You look in your safe and count out the total number of ampules in this um, example and it should balance 60. If you have 60 on your sh it would mean your quantity stock account and your stock on hand match and your register balances. If this does not match your quantity stock account, it means there is a discrepancy within your register and you need to refer this back to your clinical nurse manager. Like Kayla said, our DHB policy is for weekly stock accounts, but this six monthly check is under New Zealand legislation and must be done on the 30th of June and the 31st of December of each year. This is auditable and is something that is checked during certification audits from the Ministry of Health.